Okay, so for this one, this is taking out the common vector and group pane. So you can see that for the first one, both of them contain the number 7 and the vector 7. And then the second one will be C. So we take out 7C here, and then this one 1 and the second one 3C. So some of you may ask how to determine whether it's 1. So you just do the division on the right hand side yourself. Okay, and then you can contain the answer. Okay, you can find out the answer like this. Well done, but this one, both of them contain A, so you take out A, okay, and then this is what you have, okay. And if you are not certain about that, then you can consider this one over here. Then next one, or this one, so this time you take out negative 2, X, and Y here. So this is X minus 3, Y, like that, okay. So this is very important because some of you, okay, don't know why this one become negative, okay? So you have negative here, negative time negative, so you will have the positive. And for this one, okay, all of them, okay, have 2, so you take out 2 here, a minus 2b plus 4c, okay? And for this one, this time it is the Bologna, so very straightforward. Take out P minus 2Q first. And then this is R minus 1, okay? Because actually there is a hidden 1 here. There is a hidden 1 here. So when you take away this term, then the remaining term will be 1, okay? For this one, very important, okay? Very important. You can see that x minus 1 and 1 minus x, they are not the same, but they will become the same when you add a minus sign in front of 1 minus x like this. Therefore, here I showed you how we do it, will be we change it. Okay, you can see that now, it becomes x minus 1, but this is no longer plus, this becomes negative, okay, this becomes negative. So then we can take out x minus 1, and then what is remaining will be 5x minus 2, okay? And for this one, you can group something together. You have four terms, then you will have 2, 2, okay, and 3, 1 combination. But normally, we consider 2, 2 first. So for the first two items, you have C, and for the second one, you have D. So you can consider c here and then you have a plus b and for the second one will be minus uh, d so here take out minus d and then this is a and b the confusing place will be here whether this is plus or minus so because it is minus for the last term so here must be plus so that when you do the simplification okay this one minus positive so you have minus at the end then now you can take out a plus b, and then c minus d, like this. And sometimes some students, they would like to do in in a little bit different way. So they may consider put a, c, and a, d together, and then b, c, and b, d together, okay? So first two items, they have a. They have the third and fourth, they have b. And then you have C minus D and then times A plus B like this. Okay, so you can see that the results will be the same. Okay, these two results will be the same. Okay, and then for question 8, there could be 6 items. So you can have 2, 2, 2, or 3, 3. Okay, the group plane. So I showed you the first one, 3, 3. So all of them have P, so you take out 2 plus A minus B. Okay, and then for the second group, you have Q, so after that, now you can take out 2 plus A minus B, and what is remaining will be P plus Q. Okay, for another group, hey, you put the A, B, and 2 together, respectively, so you have this arrangement. Okay, so now, so true in this way. Just make sure you do not make some mistake in the train. 
So we have 2 plus a minus b, okay? Like this one. Okay. And then we've got question 9. Okay, question 9. So again, you can group these two together first. Okay, so we have to take out x. So y minus 2. Second one, y here and y minus 2 as well. Okay, just pay attention to this one. Okay, pay attention to this one. Check it. Negative, negative. So we have positive here. Okay. Then take out y minus 2. Okay. And we have x minus y here. And another grouping will be x, y minus y square minus 2x plus 2y here. So you have y here and then x minus y minus 2x minus y like this. As you can see, if you're correct, the answer should be the same all the time. Okay, for the last one, okay, for the last one, okay, so just like what I have mentioned, this one and this one, they look like similar, but what you can do will be you change it first. So after you change it, okay, then you can see that this is what I mentioned to be changing. Okay, this is why I have to change it. Okay, change the order. And then you can take out the common term together, which is 2x minus 3. And then this is 3 minus 2x squared plus 5x squared. Then you have 2x minus 3, and then 3 plus 3x squared. Some of you stop here, but actually you have to do one more step, which is take out 3 here. Okay, and at the end, put the number first. Okay, and that is the answer at the end. Okay, like this.